tonight I am so excited to uh, put on air our guest for tonight But before that, uh, let me introduce you The one who has been given the honor and the privilege to introduce our guest And her name is Dr. Nancy Bukalan Okay Greetings Hello, everybody, I am here to introduce you. the guest for Clive Kingdom Talk mm -hmm. and also to Radio Natin in mm -hmm. Lawang Samar and Lamra Radio Station. Mm -hmm. The guest speaker tonight is no other than Dr. David Banks. Mm -hmm. He is an awesome man of God. He is a spiritual son of Dr. Miles Moreau mm -hmm. and the pastor and overseer of the Empowerment Embassy. So ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Dr. David Banks. Yes. Thank you very much, Doc, for introducing our guest for tonight. Right now, let's put on air our guest tonight, Dr. David Banks. Hello, Greetings, Doc. everyone. This is yes. Dr. David Banks, the pastor overseer of mm -hmm. the Empowerment Embassy in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and also a kingdom strategist. It's always a pleasure to be a part of Kingdom Talk with Coach Ariel and Coach Pressy. I appreciate them and God's blessings upon their lives and what they are doing to advance the kingdom of God. I truly count it an honor mm -hmm. to be a part of the partnership, partnering with them and really help advancing uh, the kingdom of God throughout the earth. All right, today I wanna talk with you about the importance of this concept called yes. kingdom strategies. Mm -hmm kingdom strategies well, and if you're able to uh, take some notes I really want you to take some notes because as we're mm -hmm. heading in 2020 my friend wow. these terms that I'm going to be sharing with you are going to be very very vital as wow. I spend time with God and really tapping in and accessing the head country heaven mm -hmm. my friend there are certain terms that are in heaven that is important that we understand to mm -hmm. implement these same terms here upon the earth yes. and one of those terms is called kingdom strategies mm -hmm. so let's go to the word of god and really get an understanding of these concepts mm -hmm. first thing matthew chapter 24 verse 14 very mm -hmm. familiar coach pressy uh, ambassador ariel used this scripture a lot dr nancy very all of us as mm -hmm. kingdom ambassadors we're all familiar with this verse. Why? Because it's our mandate. Matthew mm -hmm. 24, verse 14 says, mm -hmm. when the gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. is preached in yes. all the world as a witness to all nations, then the end will yes. come. Now, let's break this down. The first, it says, when the gospel of the kingdom. And I know um, in the religious world, uh, this word gospel is so, um, is, is really a, a, a main term. Mm -hmm. But I need you to understand the scripture and understand what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. He just didn't say gospel. He said gospel of the kingdom. Yes. So it's important to make sure that we mm -hmm. line up our lives and what we're doing on the earth with what Jesus said instead mm -hmm. of what we think we've been taught, what we've yes. been taught over these years. My friend, Jesus is all about making sure that he, as well as his disciples, as well as us today, mm -hmm. are releasing the gospel of the mm -hmm. kingdom. And it said, when the gospel of the kingdom is proclaimed in all the world mm -hmm. and a witness to all mm -hmm. nations. So it's important to understand something about the kingdom. First, it needs mm -hmm. to be proclaimed, which is the message. The message needs to go out. And mm -hmm. as far as our spiritual mentor, Dr. Miles Monroe, God really yes. raised him up to really go forth throughout the world to release the message mm -hmm. of the kingdom. So when God really put that mandate upon Dr. Miles mm -hmm. to really show forth and share the message of the kingdom. But mm -hmm. it says when the gospel of, shall be proclaimed throughout all the world, but also mm -hmm. as a witness. Mm -hmm. All right. If you witness something, that means you have to see it. All right? yes. <laughs> so not only does the message of the kingdom needs to go forth that people hear it. There is another dimension Whoa. that is important for people to recognize that not only do they need to hear it, strategies need to be developed so they can see it. Yes. All right. So yes. remember this. 
-hmm. It says as a witness to all nations and mm -hmm. for, instead of all nations needs to witness something, which means they need to see something mm -hmm. in order for something to be seen. A strategy has to be developed. Yes. And then it says the end will come. Mm -hmm. So the message of the kingdom, it needs to be proclaimed so people can hear it, but also strategies need to be developed mm -hmm. so that it can be seen. Yeah. All right. So let's break down this word strategy. Mm -hmm. All right. Strategy means the science or art of combining and employing tactics oh. to accomplish a common goal. Let mm -hmm. me say that again. What is a strategy? A strategy is the science mm -hmm. or the art of combining and employing tactics mm -hmm. to accomplish a common goal. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at this word tactics. Tactics mm -hmm. basically means a system mm -hmm. or an arrangement of duties, steps, or plans. Mm -hmm. So you can have a, you have a strategy, mm -hmm. but under that strategy, you need to develop tactics, which is uh -huh. you yes. got to develop some systems, mm -hmm. which is an arrangement of duties, steps, or a plan. Mm -hmm. Now, many years ago, I went through a training and was trained to become a kingdom strategist. Wow. So God has really given me insight of mm -hmm. how to not only take the message of the kingdom, mm -hmm. but also how to develop strategies. Yes. Also have the honor to be able to work with uh, Ambassador Ariel mm -hmm. in developing some kingdom strategies in mm -hmm. Philippines. I've done it in the Caribbean islands, Trinidad and Tobago, in India. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we move into 2020, looking to work with uh, wonderful ambassadors in Africa and in mm -hmm. Europe, Mm -hmm. Also in Mexico to really wow. help develop kingdom strategies mm -hmm. because that is crucial. Yes. The message of the kingdom is constantly going forth. But as the message of the kingdom is going forth, it is important that we are developing strategies as well. Because mm -hmm. not only does the kingdom need to be heard, it needs to be seen. Yes. Now, I'm going to take you from the very beginning because Jesus was a strategist. He was a kingdom strategist. Everything in heaven, my friend, understands the importance of strategies. Mm -hmm. And as we look, and as I study the word of God, and as we move into 2020, I'm gonna be sharing on Kingdom Talk various strategies. My goal is to help as many people as possible mm -hmm. really understand kingdom strategies yes. also. All right, so let's go all the way back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter one. Yes. Genesis chapter one is the first reference to strategies. Huh. I'm going to show you from the word of God, Genesis chapter one. So mm -hmm. go back to the beginning in Genesis chapter one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you a strategy. All right, let's look at Genesis chapter one, verse one. Genesis chapter one, verse one says, mm -hmm. in the beginning, yes. God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. wow. So God's yes. strategy, God's desire was first to make sure heaven influenced the earth. Yes. God has always wanted heaven and earth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to complement each other. Mm -hmm. God created heaven and he said, that is my domain, mm -hmm. but I want to do something. I want to extend my kingdom and mm -hmm. also I want a family. So mm -hmm. remember that. That was God's heart from the very beginning. God mm -hmm. wanted to do two things. Mm -hmm. God wanted to extend his kingdom because he is a king. Yes. And one thing about kings, they love to advance their kingdom. So mm -hmm. he says, heaven is a kingdom and I want to advance it. And mm -hmm. I want to uh, develop a family. Mm -hmm. So he said, if I, I want to do those two things, what do I need to do? I want to create the earth realm. Yes. And I want to establish it like a kingdom, just like in yes. heaven mm -hmm. and in the earth. I want to put my family. Mm -hmm. my friend, that is yes. what he's wanting. All right. He's always wanted that, my friend. Mm -hmm. So that's why in Genesis chapter one, verse one, it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth because the earth was an extension of his kingdom from heaven. And the earth realm was a place where he could put his people, his family. That's what he wanted. All right. So he had to create a strategy in order to make that happen. So let's break this down. What was God's strategy 
in order for him to get what he wanted from Genesis chapter one, verse one. All right, now, Genesis chapter one, verse two. So we <laughs> see his heart's desire. I want heaven to be an extension and I want to extend it to the earth and I want the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. to be extended to the earth and I want a family. Mm -hmm. But when he looked upon the earth, look at the earth, Genesis 1, 2, it says the earth was without form, a yes. void. Darkness was over the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the water. So when he looked at the earth, he said, it doesn't look like I want it. All right. He said it doesn't look I want, like I want it. So I got to develop a strategy. What do we say a strategy? A strategy is a science or an art combining mm -hmm. and employing yes. tactics mm -hmm. for a common goal. Those tactics are basically a system. What do we say? Mm -hmm. A system or an arrangement of duty, steps, or plans. So he said, mm -hmm. I got to develop a strategy. Mm -hmm. My strategy is to get the earth to look like heaven because in mm -hmm. Genesis chapter one, verse two, it doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. So he said, I got to create a, a strategy, a, a tactic. All right. The first tactic was declaration. Wow. That was the yeah. first thing he had to declare something. Yes. So we see in Genesis one, three, God said, what? Let there be light. Mm -hmm. And there was light. Wow. God saw that the light was good and mm -hmm. God separated the light from the darkness. Mm -hmm. So the first tactic tactic is basically a system mm -hmm. or an arrangement of a duty plan or steps. So the mm -hmm. first thing the tactic that God established, mm -hmm. I got to declare something. Job mm -hmm. 22, 21 says, you will declare a thing and it will be established mm -hmm. and God um, will establish it. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. That was the first tactic he said in order for this strategy to come to pass. First thing I need to do, I need to declare something. So he declared, yes. he said, let there be light. Now mm -hmm. check this. Look at how he developed this. First of all, now you got to check this out. God did not see, he didn't say what he saw. Hmm, yes. All right. He basically said what he believed to yes. see. All right. Now that is a mm -hmm. kingdom principle. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. God did not say what he saw mm -hmm. because what did he see? Genesis 1, 2, it says the earth was formless, dark and void. Mm -hmm. All right. So he didn't say that because he knew if I said that, I'm only going to get what I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yes. So he realized I can't just say what I see. I have to say what I believe to yes. see. My friend, that's the very mm -hmm. thing you need to understand. Now, he didn't he was in he was not in denial of what he saw. Mm -hmm. He was aware of what he saw, mm -hmm. but he realized as a king, I have to say what I believe to wow. see. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what we have to understand mm -hmm. how we need to walk out our lives. Yes. Be aware of what you see, but as mm -hmm. a king in the earth and understanding kingdom principle, it is important that you start speaking what you believe yes. to see. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be back with part two. All right. The second part we've talked strategies and it's important mm -hmm. that you understand this term and learn how to walk it out in the earth mm -hmm. all right so we talked about a strategy is basically a science or mm -hmm. an art combining tactics to achieve a common goal tactics is basically a system an arrangement mm -hmm. of duties plans or steps we're all the way in genesis chapter one we said the first tactic in order to get this strategy that god wanted was heaven to influence the earth yes. was first declaration. He declared mm -hmm. something. Genesis mm -hmm. 1, 3. God said, let there be light. Yes. And there was light. So he declared something. Now, mm -hmm. after he declared something, the next tactic was organization. And you see that in <laughs> Genesis Whoa. chapter 1, yes. verse 6. Mm -hmm. God started organizing things. Yes, because he he, what he saw was chaos. Mm -hmm in disorganization. Mm -hmm. yes. So he realized first, I got to declare, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Let there first understand that what I'm seeing is not what I want. So light needs to be revealed upon that to let everyone know this is not what I want. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, he said, 
Basically, he had to organize things because everything was out of order. So you read from Genesis chapter one, verse six, all the way to verse um, 22. God is putting things in order. Yes. He's organizing. Mm -hmm. He said, I need to expand the water. I'm going to put the water in the upper heaven. I'm going to put the water in the, uh, below the earth mm -hmm. and I'm going to put the water on the earth. So mm -hmm. after he did that, he said, now, since water is in its proper place, now let all of the animals derive from the water. Now, mm -hmm. since the land is dry, let things come up from the land. So yes. God was organizing things. That was his next tactic. Mm -hmm. He started putting things in order. Yes. All right. <laughs> so you see God has a strategy. And his strategy was what? To allow heaven influence yes. the earth. Mm -hmm. And he wanted that family. And he wanted mm -hmm. that family in the earth realm. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, he had to come up with a tactic. Tactic first, he saw mm -hmm. the condition of the earth. And it mm -hmm. was not what he wanted it. Yes. The way he wanted it. So he declared, let there be light. And there was light. Then the second tactic is organization. All right. Mm -hmm. He start putting everything in order. order. Now go to Genesis 1, 23. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1, 20, um, Power. <laughs> 1, 26. 1, 26. All right. Get mm -hmm. to 1, 26. He said, now let us make man in our image and in our likeness mm -hmm. and let them have dominion. So the first declaration, Genesis 1, 3. All right, organization, Genesis chapter one, six through 25. He was organizing things. So first declaration, number two, organization. Number three, supervision. He said, now since I got everything in order, I need a supervisor. I need someone to manage it, wow. someone to maintain it because I am creating this. As we go to uh, remember this scripture, Psalms 115 verse 16, write that down. Psalms 115 verse 16 says mm -hmm. the heavens belongs to the Lord, but yes. the earth he's given to the sons of man. So when yes. God was creating the earth, he said, I want to picture it and pattern it just like heaven. I am a king here in the earth. So when I create the earth, I'm going to create a king oh. to, uh, to Lord over the earth realm. My friend, you see, this yes. is what God has always wanted. So mm -hmm. he created Adam. Adam, you are going to be the king. You're going to oversee the earth realm. Mm -hmm. All right. So he had to create a supervisor to supervise what he had put in order. Wow. So when he created man, man and woman, mm -hmm. he said, I want you to supervise this. I put everything in order. Now I want you to manage it, mm -hmm. supervise it to make sure that it stays in this order. My yes. friend, that was the original mandate mm -hmm. upon Adam and Eve mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter one and chapter two. Mm -hmm. That is what he intended for them to function and to flow the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. As we see in Genesis chapter three and four, man and woman decided to go their own way. So therefore mm -hmm. God had to create a salvage plan. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. He had to create a salvage plan to get things back. Yes. So therefore in the gospels, Jesus came back to the earth mm -hmm. through a virgin birth to do what? Bring his kingdom back yes. because his ultimate strategy, Genesis chapter one, verse one, mm -hmm. God was going to make sure it is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. So he had to come to the earth to reestablish his kingdom. Yes. Then he got his disciples and said, hey, I need you to go throughout the world mm -hmm. getting this kingdom back. All right. So he needed supervision. All right. And the fourth tactic was to develop a systemization. <laughs> systemization. Let's look at Genesis chapter one, verse 28. Genesis chapter one, verse 28 said, God bless them and say to them, what? Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over all the fish of the sea, over all the birds of the heavens and over every living mm -hmm. thing that moved upon the earth. God wow. said, now, since you're supervising, now what I need you to do, I need you to create a system so you can continue this process. Mm -hmm. Not only do I want Adam and Eve, I want you guys to do this, 
but the children that you're going to develop. I want you to multiply. I want you to have children and what? I want you to tell them to do the same thing. Yes. Develop a system to mm -hmm. keep this process going. Whoa. All right. That was his tactic from the very beginning mm -hmm. to get his ultimate strategy placed upon the earth. All right. So let's go back over this kingdom oh. strategies. Like I said, my friend, one of my goals in 2020 is to work with countries to help you to become a kingdom strategist. Yes. I've been in Chattanooga for a number of years and I've trained up and certified kingdom strategies. I have kings in Chattanooga. They are kingdom strategies and I'm deploying oh. them and they are continuing to use their skills and their abilities to advance the kingdom. Wow. And my friend, I want to do that in your country. So I want you to contact me. If you want me to come to your country and teach mm -hmm. you how to be kingdom strategists, mm -hmm. to develop strategies. I've worked with uh, Coach Ariel mm -hmm. in the Philippines, giving him some kingdom strategies of mm -hmm. how to take these principles. One strategy, tactic he's doing is what he's doing on Kingdom Talk. Mm -hmm. That is a tactic, my friend, to advance the kingdom of God. Yes. So I applaud Ambassador Ariel and Coach Pressy for taking much, this God. tactic and mm -hmm. using it for the glory of God and truly mm -hmm. to advance the kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. And my friend, there are various strategies throughout the scripture. I've studied them and I've learned strategies, my friend, and I want to teach you how to become a kingdom strategist. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be on Kingdom Talk through uh, year 2020, sharing these various yes. kingdom strategies. My friend, this mm -hmm. is the first one in Genesis 1, mm -hmm. uh, 1. My friend, there are another kingdom strategies with Noah, with Jesus, yes. Esther. All of those were kingdom strategies. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you how to make that happen mm -hmm. as well. Yes. So in review, my friend, understand in order to advance the kingdom, Matthew 24, verse 14, when the gospel of the kingdom is proclaimed in all the world as a witness, mm -hmm. it's got to be seen yes. to all nations, then mm -hmm. the end will come. Mm -hmm. Those two things have to happen before God moves into another dimension in the mm -hmm. earth realm. Yes. Two things got to happen. First, the kingdom, message of the kingdom has to be proclaimed, but also strategies need to be developed so people can see Yes. The word of God says in Corinthians, the kingdom does not only just come in word, but it yes. comes in power. Mm -hmm. All right. It comes in demonstration. Yes. So it's important that we understand. Yes. The message of the kingdom is going out. Mm -hmm. But my friend, we got to start really developing strategies. Yes. We got to develop strategies as well so people can see it. Mm -hmm. My friend, it's great that people can hear it. But if they can't see it, my friend, yes. it's not going to be a long lasting yes. effect. All right. Mm -hmm. We have to make a long lasting effect. Mm -hmm. So from Genesis chapter one, this is heaven had a strategy. It's for the kingdom of heaven to be extended to the earth realm Ooh, and God. also for God's family to reside in mm -hmm. the earth realm. All right. How did he do that? First, he made a declaration. Let there be light. Because mm -hmm. when he looked at the earth, he realized it's not the condition that I wanted. So therefore, I have to declare what I want, mm -hmm. not just focus on what I see. Mm -hmm. So he declared, let there be light. After that, he said, I need to organize some things. So he started organizing things in the earth. I need the water to go certain places, dry land to go in certain places. So therefore, the animals that is derived from the water has freedom because they are now in proper mm -hmm. position. I need now the earth, since it's dry, vegetation to come forth and also mm -hmm. animals to come because mm -hmm. things are in proper position. So there he organized things. After he mm -hmm. organized everything, he said, now I need a super, a supervisor. I need yes. somebody to supervise this. God says, I'm in the earth. I'm in heaven. I'm going to take care of heaven, but I need to create someone in my image that represents me on the earth to manage things. Mm -hmm. I need a supervisor. So he created Adam and Eve to mm -hmm. supervise. I need you to keep this in this uh, order. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he said, I need to create a system. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Systemization. I need you to develop a system. That's why Genesis 1, 28 said, God blessed them and said to them, what? Be fruitful and multiply. Why? Because not only Adam and Eve do I want you to manage and supervise order, disorganize uh, what I've developed. I want your children. I want your children's children. I want each generation to be, uh, to come forth and do the same thing I've given you to do, Adam and Eve. So he wanted to create a system. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend, I pray that you've been blessed. I pray yes. this has really opened your eyes to understand, my message. friend. We have work to do, all right? Mm -hmm. We have work to do to advance the kingdom mm -hmm. in the earth. So it's important that you are really understanding the urgency, all right? Yes. It's an urgency. I'm very passionate about helping people understand developing kingdom strategies upon mm -hmm. the earth. And it's important for us to develop that and walk that out. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend, I want you to be blessed. God bless you, be encouraged, and let us continue to work together Yes. to advance the kingdom in the earth, not only proclaiming, but developing strategies yes. to advance it. God bless you. Thank you very much, Doc. It was a powerful message. It is very practical. It's simple. And it was very easy to understand. And I am blessed by that word. It's really amazing that God has put you that kind of wisdom. And I believe that He, is, he, he prepared for you for, for this season so that you can reach out so many people. So that they can have a strategy on how can they uh, uh, fulfill the mandate that God has given to them through the strategy. Because without a strategy, uh, it's very hard to accomplish the assignment that God has given to us. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. David Banks. Kingdom salute to you and kingdom favor to you. And thank you very much for that powerful message. And thank you. Uh, it's an honor for us uh, to have you as our program, as our one of our program partners in this program. We really appreciate that. Uh, Kingdom salute uh, to the Empowerment Embassy. Wow. And I know that every one of us, marami tayong natutunan sa gabing ito, especially dito sa Tacloban City. To those who are listening to my, uh, sa lahat po ng aking kapwa uh, Pilipino, and I believe that every one of us is learning uh, this kind of message. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. David Banks, and thank you also to Dr. Nancy for introducing our guests for tonight. And thank you for uh, to Dr. Nico for allowing this program to be heard in... Uh, Lamrag Radio and also to Sir Darwin Aguilar so thank you very much for joining us this evening once again this is Coach Riel saying bye bye for now and kingdom salute to everyone